Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Clear Ramage. This time a little different kind of a haul. I'm actually combining several different things together into one video. One, I went to an estate sale. Two, I picked up some stuff at a thrift store. And three, a uh, good friend of mine brought me some stuff from her family estate. And so I wanted to show you some incredible handkerchiefs that come from her family. Um, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to do with them. So hopefully you guys can give me some ideas. But anyway, if you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the likes up button, and please feel free to comment. Um, good, bad, or indifferent. It doesn't matter. So first off, you can see over here, I picked up this, this, um, needlepoint piece, um, from a, one of the other dealers at the Pink Elephant. And, uh, I love that piece, so have to block it out, get it square, and then decide whether I'm going to make a pillow, which I think I probably will make a pillow out of it. And then also you see these Avon figurines down here. These came from my friend, and uh, these were part of her mother's collection. Uh, there's some Avon figurines, and I have some Avon Award things too, but I just thought they'd make a nice little addition along with the uh, needlepoint tapestry style. Um, so that's that. So let's get into, I went to, uh, it was the last day of an estate sale and uh, wasn't sure if I would find much on the last day, but I actually found some great stuff. I found two of these. These are DLK speakers. These happen to be made here in the Twin Cities in St. Paul, the company was. Um, so I found two of these. These are probably, I paid $10 each because everything was half price. So they were marked $20. So I paid ten dollars each, but these are a hundred to hundred and fifty dollar pair of speakers. So that was a wise investment. I was really surprised they were still there. And I also found some Sound Masters, which was DLK got sued because of the name, and they became Sound Masters after that. So I found another one of those speakers. Same thing with those. They're a little smaller, but I hooked them up to my stereo, and they sound great. So can't beat that. The other thing they had, and it was they had some very unusual things left over um were these posters i don't know if you can see it stand over here these are from the 20th anniversary of the macintosh which actually these posters were created in 1997 so these posters are now vintage and they actually had i don't even know how many they had but they had six tubes and i believe they were all the same posters i bought two tubes for two dollars and fifty cents each and each tube contains two posters so it was a dollar and a quarter a poster now these are listed on ebay um for like a hundred and fifty dollars that was a good find so excited about a couple macintosh posters um now they may be listed i don't remember honestly if there were some sold but i knew that even if I list them for 50 bucks, I'm still doing well with them, right? So we're good with that. Thrift store. Um, I went to our local thrift store, found two of these blankets. At first I was like, what in the world do they say? Because blankets are kind of hard because they're large. But one of the things that I saw right away, because it was hanging on a rack, was that. It said, tour, no filter. So, I, okay, it looks like a tour blanket of some kind. That sounds good. Yep, it's the Rolling Stones No Filter Tour. And there were two of these blankets. They still had the labels on them, so I knew they hadn't been washed. I wouldn't say they weren't used, but there's no damage to them. But they hadn't been washed yet because those labels are still there. Um, but yeah, they're in excellent condition. No stains, rips, snags. Um, and they were $4 each, so I bought them at $4 each, and I've already sold one for 60 and I could hold out for more, because they sell for a little more than that, but again, because I had two, I wanted to move them quickly, so, and they're not that old, they're fairly new blankets, so, so I already got my money back, because I think I, yes, I spent like $10, so, great investment, and then, I know some of you won't like it, but some of you will. It's a clown latch hook. Isn't that great? I love it. 
and you can see the he's got his hair is much longer than the rest so it, it does need some cleaning so I was going to take it home and throw it in the wash but I paid two dollars for that clown stuff latch hook both are collectible that's why I did that so just have to do a little work at cleaning it up okay now we're going to get into the scarf and handkerchief I only have one scarf but this thing is beautiful just want to show it to you look at this it's the sheer head scarf oops the beautiful floral print on it okay style yeah just lovely so this one again I, I usually put these down at the pink elephant unless one of you guys would like it then just let me know um but otherwise, I put these for sale down at the Pink Elephant. For this one, I would probably do like eight to ten dollars on it, and I do well at that price. Um, okay, <laughs> cuteness factor. The little child's hanky. Now these are brand new; so they've never been used. Her, my friend's family used to own a store in Chicago, and uh, they would sell these types of items and they still had a ton left when they closed the store and the family just stored them away so there's some beautiful little child's hankies here's a red floral now this is what her grandmother would do is they would do crocheting tatting and uh, along the edges to finish off some pieces there's a lot of handmade pieces so here's here's some more same way that's a nice valentine's hanky and uh, another red one so if you guys are interested in any of those let me know i do have a few christmas hankies oops and i did put prices on these because i was going to put them down at the pink elephant so that's what these green tags are um look at these isn't that beautiful oh, let me unwrap it wrap it from the tag and from itself oh. there we go this one is a beautiful christmas tree and these i will sell for five dollars each so if you're interested let me know on those so i have two of those with the christmas tree i have two of these these still have the original hand printed sticker on them so there's two of these with the poinsettias. And again, these would be $5 each. But aren't they just wonderful little handkerchiefs? Brand new, old stock. And then there's this one also. A little larger, but another beautiful Christmas hanky. I hope I'm saying hanky and not scarf. Sometimes I get confused. Okay, now... On to the most incredible find, in my opinion, are, there's four of these that I'm going to show you. So this is a hand-painted, and it still has the sticker on there of the person who painted it. Isn't that a beautiful floral arrangement? And look at the way they're folded. This is the way they would have folded them for display on the shelf. And they still have the original sticker of pure linen on there, too. So they painted right at the end and then they painted in the middle this one does have a couple what i believe to be foxing on there little stains that's the only one with any stains then there's this one same artist just different bouquet and the artist that she did sign also her name not only does it have the sticker the name and it gives you instructions on how to wash them and that is on the back so and here's the pansies. Aren't they just spectacular? Wow. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know how to price them. I tried a quick search on trying to find this artist. I'm assuming because of Chicago is probably a local Chicago artist, but I don't know. Okay. But this, look at the chartreuse green. I'm not going to show you what's on the other side just yet. Look at that beautiful color. Is that like mid-century colors or what? This one surprised me when I pulled it out, but it's smoke, uh, a smoking cigarette, literally, 
the cigarette is smoking with a pair of lips. Is that like crazy mid-century modern or what? I'm just like, that is so cool. Not, not that I'm excited about the smoking and it is by the same author, 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 artist. It says Crips if you read it down that way, which is what this one is. So all four of those are by the same artist one of a kind pieces. So I don't even know where to begin as far as the price goes. I would love to uh, know you guys' thoughts on them. If we need to, you know, do more research, which should probably be good, but I don't know where to begin even. Um, it could have just been a friend of the family. In fact, I should probably talk to my friend and see if she recognizes the name at all. Who knows? Maybe some family lore going on. But anyway, that's what we have today. Um, I've kind of slowed down on a lot of my buying because I have so much stuff. But, oh, I do have coming up, I just wanted to auction a whole bunch of headscarves. Um, some top name designers and stuff. So be watching for that video. That'll probably be coming out next week because I go to pick them up today. So uh, watch for that. Okay. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time. Little bit of it.